and your death. How you spell it? D I A Z. C? D I Z. No, oh, thanks, man. I gotta go. Hope you can call, Angel. see Big Joe for a couple of weeks, and things would get really bad. My father still hadn't called. So I got me a job after school and on weekends. And I said I went into business for myself. you get for roses these days? A dozen roses, 15 bucks, sometimes more. Now that is a good cash crop. What happened? Pete joined the Navy. So why don't you get your wife to help you? I'm divorced. You hire me, I'll help you. <laughs> no, that's okay. We got it. 15 bucks a dozen? Man, if it was my place, you'd see roses coming out the chimney. So then I came around a few times a week because Joe asked me to help him with some other things. The funny thing is, at first I didn't like Big Joe too much. And I didn't like him because I didn't think like me. But then one time Big Joe told me about how when he was in the war and they were fighting and there was a lot of shooting and these guys were getting killed and everything. And he told me about how he got so scared that all of a sudden he couldn't talk no more for a long time. I couldn't talk. I tried to yell, I couldn't yell, I couldn't do anything. I mean, it was frozen. Then I think when the main shooting stopped, we all got up. So when he told me that, I liked him because I figured that when someone tells you about how when they were so scared they couldn't talk, they must like you pretty good too. people like me, you know, Puerto Rican, Mexican, and they were real powerful. And they came down here, millions of these flies. And 
I'm gonna run out there and I'm gonna go, hey baby, que pasa? Habla español. I'm your friend Angel. And they're gonna say, hey Angel, baby, we're here to get all them bad hombres that I heard in the Spanish people. And I'm gonna say, yeah, well, I know who's there. Don't wear a sweet mouth, you know what I'm saying? And they say, Lead on, little Spanish brother. And I say, Bye, yeah! <laughs> 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 crazy, kid. <laughs> Would you like to help me finish building the greenhouse? The greenhouse? Yeah, we can start tomorrow. You mean it? Yeah, I mean it. If we make some money, I'll give you some of the profits. <laughs> Mommy! I got this job! Me and Big John are going to grow this and we're going to have a lot of money, Mommy! A lot of money! Thank you, I got you! fields and picking crops my whole life and I hated it hated it but working with Big Joe was not like really working it was more like playing around and having fun I really liked it Did you begin to feel like a real rat? 
My mother was worried and crying. And all that time, the only thing I was really thinking about was the roses. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. Here. I can't. Cut it. I can't. Cut it. I'll cut it. No, I want to cut it. We'll cut it. Come on. $6. I tell you what, I'll give you four fifty dollars and I'll take all the roses you got. Let's go. Five dollars a dozen, that's it. Take it or leave it. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice, huh? You know what we're going to do tomorrow morning? What? We're going to start building two more greenhouses. Two more? Yeah, that's what I said. We keep putting back the profits into the business in a few years, we're really going to have something. What's the matter? I thought you were Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. So why don't you stay? Stay? Where am I going to stay? Right here. There's plenty of room. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I really want you to stay. What are you going to do? Pick crops the rest of your life? No. No, I ain't. But, you know, I'm a family man. They need me. Let me tell you something. My father worked his whole life down in the mines, and when I was 14, I quit school and went down in the mines to work with him. I liked school. I was good in school, but I quit because I thought my parents needed me to help out. I spent six years down in the coal mines, eating coal dust and hating every minute of it, and hating my father for letting me do it. One day, on a day off, I was sitting in the park, and I was watching two kids who were playing. They were having a great time, just laughing and playing. And I tried to remember the time, the last time that I had felt like laughing, and I couldn't remember it. And I got really angry. I didn't want to work in the mines. I didn't want to work in the mines! All 
all right, I had a responsibility to them. But what about me? I had a responsibility to me, too. So I ran home, packed a bag, kissed him goodbye, and left that town. And the funny thing is, my family didn't stop after I left. But I almost spent my entire life down in the mines just because I thought they would. I'd like you to think about that. I'll call you tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you. Maybe. Someday. Real good friend. Enjoy.